Logan O'Connor, you are the king of the University of Denver. We showed up here and we're like, where are you? Like, I'm already inside, I'm already in the locker room. Uh, you spend a lot of time here, don't you? Yeah, in the summer, we have a, you know, we're pretty fortunate. We've got a really good group of guys that I played with and have gone pro, and there's older guys like, you know, Stassny, who obviously Az fans are familiar with, and everyone comes here, works out, skates in the summer, which is, you know, pretty unique to uh, all come back and enjoy that together. National Championship, that was a big moment. I mean, I got to be there in Chicago with that National Championship. Is that the thing you remember most of your time here? Absolutely. I think it's hard not to when yeah. you, you know, reflect on everything. There's definitely more memories, um, you know, around the adversity that led up to that. Not just the big moment, but, you know, where we came from as a group, I think is uh, awesome. And then just sharing that experience with family, friends in Chicago for that Frozen Four was, you know, something I think we always just look back on and cherish those memories for the rest of our life. With you, and when you talk to a bunch of those guys, I mean, how did how did you end up here? Like, why'd you why'd you pick the University of Denver? Because you had so many options, and so why why do you? Being from Calgary, you know, Denver's got a very similar feel to it. Mm. The mountains are close. It's same time zone as my family. It's easy for them to come down, for me to come down. And then I think just the program and the history with the program, you know, second in the country in national championships. It's got a winning culture, and then on top of that. The academics were a big reason, you know, student athlete go hand in hand. So for all those reasons, it was, you know, an easy decision and one that I'm really happy with. We're talking hockey a lot here, but it's a beautiful campus. What was your off ice life like here at DU? It's a pretty small campus, which is really nice. You get to know all the students and everything. Uh, you know, on, with Denver, there's so many nice days. We'd head to the middle of campus in the green space there, play spike ball, volleyball, just enjoy time together. I think, you know, that's pretty pretty uh, awesome about the campus is it's got a small feel in a big city and I think we really took advantage of that with other activities outside of hockey. Guys would ride their mopeds around, you just see everyone constantly swapping through classes so that was pretty awesome. You were supposed to be captain of this team and you had an opportunity to come your way. Mm -hmm. How tough was that decision? What went into that decision? You know my whole life you you know, try and achieve that goal of making it to the NHL and getting that contract. It, it, I thought it'd be an easy decision to, you know, make that, that commitment to the Avalanche. And I think that goes to show the, you know, how special this program is because I really did have to ponder it, the pros and cons. Um, and it's tough getting, you know, captain going into senior year. That's, you know, something pretty, pretty unique. And um, like I said, I think that goes to show what an amazing program this is and obviously ended up making the decision to sign that. But it was, it was definitely tough and, you know, I think either decision would have been a good one, but um, it was nice to uh, sign that contract and, you know, couldn't have done it without the help of DU and teammates, staff and everything. Tonight, the Avs host the Canucks for the first time since February 27, 2019. The blue line is healthy for the first time this season, and Nachushkin will join the forward group. So put on your listening sweaters for the Avs and Canucks. Voice of Nature versus Nickname. Kadri, three center, taps it over for New Hook. Bottom in front for Kadri. Rebound, score! Welcome back, Valeri Nachushkin! It's the 2 2 train! It's a power play goal! Avs lead 1 0. Gelmakar holding, still holding. Pass back door, score! Oh, Captain! My Captain! Gabriel Landeskog! Off the fabulous pass from Mr. Fabulous! After Miko Rantanen lost his stick, had to go pick up his lumber. JT Comfort keeps it himself near side wing. Four check effective. Rantanen, he scores! The Moose is loose! And the Vancouver Canucks are drinking from a fountain that's pouring like an avalanche that's coming down the mountain. It's three, nothing Colorado. Up for Devon Taves, quickly over for Sam Gerrard, looking for a centering pass. Back door, Logan O'Connor. He! Shoots and scores! OC's playing, baby! Darren Helm brings it ahead. He bumps it to O'Connor. Logan O'Connor is in. Sends a four-side shot. Score! Darren Helm with a short-handed goal. And the Avs have busted it wide open. It's a 5 nothing lead. And they try to get the shot off. Couldn't get it through. Top takes one timer and he scores! It might have been deflected, but the Vaughn Taves dials it up from a long distance. On the far side, 
Gets it back into the circle. Raymond shoots. Save. Rebound. Score! JT Comfort out of midair. 2 1. Sound the horn. The Avalanche with their most decisive victory of the season. All right, guys. Uh, great job top to bottom. Came out flying. Great start. Let's keep that going. Great game from everybody. Uh, OC, you've been a buzzsaw for us all year. This one's for you, buddy. Boys, good win. Uh, that's why we got to play more. So uh, we got to keep that going and string a string a streak together here. So. Hey guys, here we are in the DU locker room. Um, I didn't actually get to use this when I was here. They made a new one once I left, but along here is a bunch of, you know, history, the Hobie Baker, Will Butcher, who I played with, um, the NHL alumni wall. So every guy that's played a game for an NHL team gets their name put up here, which is pretty cool to reflect on, you know, like I said, all the history here. And then all here is the All-Americans. Um, Ian Mitchell, another guy, he uh, is the most recent All-American. He's with uh, the Blackhawks organization now. Over here is the lounge. This is just where guys hang out, enjoy time, watch TV, watch hockey, Netflix, whatever it may be. This wall shows uh, all the conference championships and then the national championships. So our 2017 team is the last one up there and you know, hopefully you can add some more to that list soon. And then here's obviously the most important part. Um, it's the locker room. It's a pretty unbelievable facility. You know, we've been very fortunate at DU to uh, you know, get this space. And like I said, I wasn't, didn't get the opportunity to use it while I was playing here, but coming back in the summer, um, guys use the space and the hot tubs, cold tubs have been pretty awesome. So it's, uh, it's cool to see where the program has, has gone and you know, it's, it's a great facility that we're very lucky to get to use. All right, we've made our way inside Magnus Arena. Again, we've been in this building a lot, yeah. right? Oh yeah. But before we started, you, were, you kept peeking back over there and seeing what they were doing. And uh, what are they doing? These drills are the same ones that I remember doing, which is sort of funny, you know. Uh, DC was the assistant coach when I was here, so I think he took a lot of that playbook and, you know, still uses those drills today, which it's, uh, you know, weird watching them from up here and reflecting on it, you know, the times that I was here doing these same drills. Did playing here sort of magnify how you play the game of hockey? I definitely think the structure that we put in place here is very pro-like, um, you know, constantly looking over details and the process. Team identity is a big staple at DU, which I think, you know, helps a lot of the players that have gone on to pro is, you know, it's a very pro-like atmosphere as it is day to day with video and the structure. And I think that helps anyone moving forward to the pro level ranks and that adjustment. When did you realize that you could play college first and then maybe have a shot at playing pro hockey? I think realizing I could play college was probably once I was in juniors in the USHL. Um, you know, the USHL is a big feeder system to the NHL and once I grew my confidence and knew what gave me success as a player within that league, I felt as though I could elevate that into college. And I think the same sort of story goes in college when I was a sophomore, um, learning you know, what gives me success as a player to help the team win um, helped me, you know, realize that, you know, the NHL isn't that far out of reach at this point. And it, it's, it's closer than we think once you're in college and you've you know, climbed a lot of the ladder and there's, you know, still work to do, but things are getting closer. What's the biggest lesson or thing that you learned in a classroom on the ice here at the University of Denver? I think here it's, you know, the time management side of things. You've got to be able to balance both. Um, you know, if you let things pile up homework-wise, it's going to affect your classroom work, which will ultimately affect your hockey because you're not getting good sleep, and it sort of snowballs from there, and I think you learn that pretty early as a freshman. Um, living in the dorms with, you know, your fellow peers and the team, I think guys can help each other out, but at times drag each other down in the same sense. So once you figure out the routine that gives you guys the most success, I think that's huge and really simplifies things. Getting on top of your work early is uh, huge to learn right away. You know, it takes a lot to get even one player to junior college pro. Who are maybe one, two, three of the most influential people that helped you get to where you are today? I think obviously it goes back to my family. Um, you know, they definitely made a lot of sacrifices along my way. My mom, dad, brother as well. 
Um, if it weren't for them, there's no way I'd be where I'm at today. And then reflecting on the DU side of things, more so hockey-wise, I think all the coaches that I was fortunate enough to play for when I was here at DU with Monty, um, you know, being very detail-orientated, structured was huge. Tavis McMillan was the assistant, was more, you know, worked on skill and you could always bounce things off of him, which I think, you know, was really awesome as a college player with all that free time. And DC was, you know, he just stepped away from the game recently. So he worked on the penalty killing side of things as well. Um, I mean, it's hard to pinpoint a couple players or sorry, people, but those ones are definitely, you know, very impactful. And I've been fortunate to have great coaches throughout my career. Logan, this has been a lot of fun. Hopefully you've enjoyed uh, another return to the University of Denver. Absolutely, yeah, thank you. My pleasure.